Okay, for those of y'all that have been talking about moving bees on trailers, this was the second iteration of that. Initially, I would put 40 colonies on this 16-footer, manually loaded, manually unloaded, a lot of anger and unhappiness and even some tears on my part. So I went to this thinking it would be better. Um, six of the colonies face out, four of the colonies, the four next to the fender wells face in. Each colony was on its individual bottom board. And I think that that was part of my problem. <clears throat> As you can see here, maybe, uh, the colony to the right has shifted over to the bottom board of the co of where the colony was to the left. There's a lot of water in here now because we've had some rain and there hasn't been anything on here. Uh, I'm hoping that by going to a, a solid piece of plywood, all the colonies being on the same bottom board with U clips will make it easier. But just to show y'all, you can see the col this colony has shifted to the left and it's also shifted back. Now when I transport these, I equalize the, the pairs out, because these are in pairs. You'll have two colonies, same size, even if I have to put an empty box on top to move them, but they still shift. Uh, this one here, they're doing okay. But right here, this was my little stop that I would use. And it's just a little taller than the rest of the spot where the, the hive sits on. And that would keep them from going forward. But they still scooted side to side. Uh, I'm really happy with moving all the bees to a trailer to move. Uh, it's it's so much easier y'all uh you just until you do it you just don't understand uh yeah there's some dead outs on this one i didn't feed i didn't treat i really neglected these bees really did so anyway uh oh here you go eye bolt hook goes in that would go over the two and then there's another hook there in this one, I screwed, there's a four inch screw, two four inch screws. They're screwing that two by into the deck of the trailer. And I had hoped that the two by would keep the hives from shifting towards each other. It did not, that did not work. So anyway, and this is how I learned uh, when I've told you on the other video you use a two by four, then a two by six, because here's a two by four, and here's a two by four. Not a lot of room to get your hands in there, and really not even enough room to tighten, to access those buckles completely, to really tighten these things down. I mean, you want, you want these things tight. All right, we all have a good one, take care.